Is there any element too of, in the back of your guys' minds, like, hey, this may not be the only time we see these guys this year? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, people thought about it, you know. Um, and I'm pretty sure, you know, if, if we, if we both the teams do it, what we anticipate them doing and, and what we, uh, you know, set out to do, chances are we could, yeah. How tough is this defensive line that you're going to go up against? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good defensive front. I think that's the strength of the defense. Um, you know, a bunch of first-round picks. A uh, bunch of guys that, that play full tilt, you know, and uh, play to the whistle. So they're really good, really good group. Did the emotion of last year carry all over to this game? No. Brock is so even keeled, but do you think he he might really have something to prove in this game, just considering last year and all the talk and everything? Uh, you probably got to ask Brock that question. He said it's just another game. Yeah, I would. <laughs> That's how you look at it. <laughs> Do you feel like you, you as a group, your offensive line is underrated when it comes to the league? Uh, I don't even know where to look at ratings at for our <laughs> offensive line to know if we're underrated or overrated. Um, you know, we really don't put a lot of mental, uh, we don't put a lot into that, honestly. Um, I don't know how they rate us. I don't know. We, we go in, we play a game, we watch them. We try to get better, um, you know, at whatever we see on film and go into the next week and try to be a better O-line each week. Um, I have no idea where they rate me. <laughs> Here's what I really want to know. Who picks the music on the boom box and how does it all work when you come out? Oh, yeah, they just hit play and then we just catch a vibe walking down. I think uh, I get credit to Debo. Debo usually on top of the the music selection. And then everybody else just falls in line. And everybody else just falls in line, yeah. <laughs> I asked Fred about his uh, his jacket in Seattle. It was, uh, it was pretty pretty on, on point. And then uh, he commented on a few guys, mentioned Brock Purdy, but I noticed your pink uh, jumpsuit the night before. Uh, how much time do you put into thinking, what am I wearing today on, on game day? Uh, Yeah, the pink outfit literally was already in my locker. Just came in, showered, threw it on. So I didn't put a lot of thought into that one. But I, I, didn't, I missed Fred's jacket. I didn't, I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. Did you see the orange jacket? I didn't, I didn't see it. Good, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. You know, Fred is sharp as a tack, so. Trent, you got a lot of, from what Kyle said and other players, I know you guys weren't in the winning streak last year, so you were going to be supremely confident. But it just seemed like your offensive game plan, you guys were really feeling good about what you could do against Fred. Is that, is that fair? Talking about last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last I, honestly, I don't even. Rem I, I have very little <laughs> <laughs> recollection of, of last year, mind frame going into. I know how it felt afterwards, but yeah, yeah. that was one of those games that you kind of very quick and kind of, you know, put in the rear view. So I can't even honestly answer your question like that because I don't even remember the game plan from last year. I really don't. <laughs> what about the weather? Offensive line, it's going to be rainy. How does that affect you guys and what you guys are trying to do? Um, yeah, you know, the elements always play the, plays a, um, play the role, um, you know, obviously for old linemen, the slower the game, you know, the wet, more wet the surface is, the slower people got to move, generally plays into our hands, uh, you know, but you never know. We played in the monsoon last year in Chicago, and that was tough around the board for every position, so hopefully it's not that bad, but, um, yeah, I think that that's what they would deem old linemen weather. Kyle was saying the other day that Banks really showed him something playing through what he played through in, in Seattle last week. What was your impression of that, but also just kind of the steps maybe he's taken forward? This yeah, season? I think that was a huge indication of the steps that he took forward. Um, just his ability to go out there and give us everything he had last Thursday. Um, and everybody knew what he was up against, um, knew the type of injury he has. It's very tricky, you know, then going to play on turf, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, so so much respect for, for Banks and, and the steps he's taken from last year to this year and the previous year to last year. Um, I mean, he, he's, he's definitely on the climb. and He's one of those guys that, that we can lean on. And obviously, um, playing not at 100%, I think that shows grit to your teammates. And it shows that ultimately you put, you put the team before yourself, you know, and uh, you're not worrying about – not being your best version of yourself because you're hurt, but you're just trying to be the best version that you know that, that can help the team win. 
Christian, they, they've had a lot of injuries to their linebackers. The guys that might play against you, what are your impressions of, of what they have there in the middle? Yeah, they got great depth. Um, you know, their whole unit can play. They're well coached. You can tell that, um, you know, they all play the same way. So, uh, and that's a good thing. It's a compliment. Um, you know, they're fast. They're physical. They run to the ball well. And, uh, you know, actually Ellis went to my high school. Um, so, it, you know, it's been cool just to watch him, you know, get, get reps and, and be out there. Uh, I never went, went with him, but uh, proud of what he's done and uh, be cool to see him. You're going to take it easy on him just because <laughs> No, not that. <laughs> How does the hostile environment of Lumen Field, how does that serve as a good primer for what's coming at Lincoln Financial Group? I think, you know, it'll be loud, obviously, uh, you know, it's part of what makes football so fun is going into a hostile environment. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, though, it's, it's all about what happens in between the white lines and uh, going out there and executing as best you can. Christian, you said my cause, my feet, and the Logan Project is obviously very important to you, but what does this weekend kind of do? How is it special to get to honor this cause? I think it's really cool. I think it's cool the NFL lets us do this. Um, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for all of us to, to give back in different ways. And, um, you know, this sport is, goes beyond football, and it, it's a lot bigger than us. So uh, it's always cool when you're able to give back in, uh, in causes that, that, you know, mean a lot to you. How much harder does your job get when it's raining? You know, I don't think about it. I think you might have to adjust a couple of equipment things, whether it's your gloves or not. But um, the, the mentality and everything else stays the same. Christian, not only yourself, but the other teammates have mentioned, you know, new team, new year, but the emotion of last year doesn't carry over into this into this game? Yeah, I think there's always emotion uh, whenever you play any game. Um, obviously, with, you know, us losing in the NFC Championship last year, um, you know, there, there's definitely emotion that comes with it, but you got to let those natural emotions just come as they do and just focus on complete execution, and that's, that's really how I try to handle it is just, you know, understand exactly what your job is at all times and execute it, and then the natural emotion that comes with it, you just let it, let it happen. Not only for yourself with this offense, but also for Brock. He's got a full year of being a starter. How much more confidence do you and, and he and, and the offense go into this game as opposed to last year? Um, you know, I, th I think our team's always been confident. I think he's always been confident whether or not he had a year under his belt or not, and that's, I think, something that makes him really special is that uh, he is so confident. Um, he studies extremely hard. He understands the game plan really well, and then he plays beyond the X's and O's, which is you know something that you want in a quarterback. On my team, that's crazy. I still pinch myself. I was actually in the hot tub with Christian and Chase Young. I was like, this is wild. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Super fun though. You talked about how he was insecure about being an uh, all-around back. I think that's crazy. He's insecure about that. Oh, wow. that's fun. <laughs> no, I mean, why was he insecure about it, Jennifer? Because did you bully him? I did not. <laughs> okay. He has been described as a slot receiver as opposed to being an all-around back, so he wanted to make sure when he got here that he was going to a full all-around running back as opposed to just receiving. Oh, I mean, there's a couple ways you could slice that. Um, I would say the more he can do is always better. Uh, he can use you more ways. You get the ball in more ways. Affect defenses in more ways. Especially when you're a guy like Christian, I mean, I don't really see any other running back in the NFL lining up in a slot and running double move routes for touchdowns, running comebacks, uh, running our, you know, our slant concepts, things like that. I don't really see any other running backs doing that. So um, you can call him, you know, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's one of a kind, and he's probably the best in the world to do what he does. Kyle has compared him to Steph Curry before, saying that because of the threat that he can, you know, pose with everything, he, there's like a gravitational pull toward him. Do, do you feel that when you're? You're running past patterns. I feel like Kyle said that because he's the shortest on the field, but <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't miss that one. That was no too easy. That was, I, that, was, <laughs> that was way too easy. What's uh, wrong with short? <laughs> Who said that? That's brutal. Come on, man. I, I'm on one today. Um, no, 100%. When, you're, when you have a guy like Christian who you're in the backfield, he motions out, he's like five yards off the line of scrimmage in a wide receiver stance. Like He does all these different things, and you have to account for him because if he gets the ball at – you get the ball behind the line of scrimmage and it can be a touch and you get the ball five yards down the field. Like he can score from anywhere. And so as a defense, you know, Andy's running back. So it's like, all right, well, are you going to line up a linebacker on him? Okay. Are you going to line up a nickel on him? Well, how are you going to cover the other four guys in the field? And he does have that, you know, gravitational pull. And I think that's a really good way to put it. Um, you know, I think and you put Debo in the same situation when he's in the backfield. And, you know, people are like, oh, okay, well, how are we going to guard that guy out of the backfield? You're going to leave a linebacker one-on-one. -on -one? And so it just allows – uh, you know, everyone else just get these awesome one-on-one -on -one matchups, and Christian still wins on those. Debo wins on them. Ayuk wins on them. I win on them. Uh, Jawan always wins. So uh, it's just we have a really good plethora of players 
And uh, yeah, having a guy like Christian definitely helps. George, they have a lot of uh, linebacker injuries. Um, some would say. Yeah. Uh, it would seem like you might have some favorable matchups. What do you, what do you, how do you view what they, who they might have, have out there on the field Sunday? Um... I mean, you never want to lose your, you know, your top players. You don't want to lose your starters. Uh, it definitely puts you at a, you know, I don't want to say a disadvantage because you don't know the guys that are going to, you know, get in there. And, um, you know, those guys could step up and play the best game of their lives. Um, you know, it's the NFL. Everybody gets paid. Um, yes, yeah, or, you know, if you're supposed to beat a backup, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to any time I get a linebacker matchup. I don't care if it's Fred Warner or someone's practice squad guy. Like, I love linebackers. Like, that's really fun for me. So, um, yeah. Whatever you know, they put out there, I think, you know, like, you know, the previous question, like we just have a lot of guys out there. So if you're going to leave a bunch of linebackers all over the place, uh, you know, I'd love to see that. You know, if it works really well for them, it works really well for them. Like I play, you know, they coach, they game plan, and I'm just excited to see how they guard us. And speaking of the game plan, just the vibe from last year, guys talked about even Brock just now, last year's game plan against them. Everyone was supremely excited to play that game and see how that game plan worked. Mm-hmm. Did you share that feeling? You know what? Um, every time I walk in on a Wednesday or a Thursday to see Kyle's install, I'm always pretty excited. Um, there's some really fun stuff in there. Sometimes I tell him that it's a lot and he needs to dial it back a little bit. Um, and, he, and, you know, he does a good job with that too. But, you know, I look forward to every single game because you never know. Um, you know, he goes back like the Cincinnati Bengals game plan. You know, he thought Debo, I think it was Debo, I think Debo's still healthy for that. Or is he back yet? Was he Debo? Any idea? Which game? No. Cincy? No? no. Oh, he said, he said that he thought someone else was going to have a huge game, and I ended up with like 100 plus yards, right? And so, like, he, you never really know what's going to pop. Kyle just kind of feels it. He puts out a bunch of stuff that he thinks is going to work. And then when he feels like someone has a favorable matchup, he just attacks it. And so, uh, it's just fun to be, you know, Kyle's game plans are just really fun to be a part of because, you know, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had games where I've had one catch, and I've had games where I've had 15. So, you know, whatever whatever happens, happens. And um, But, yes, to answer your original question, I was excited last year. I'm excited this year. It's going to be fun. George, how, how long did it take you to flush year? what happened in Philly last year? Um, I don't know. I, pretty quickly. Um, week? I don't know. I, I kind of flush everything pretty quickly, uh, you know, every single week, whether it's win or loss, whether it's last week's install, it's flushed completely. I don't even, you could ask me about a play last week. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, a new football season, I don't really reminisce too much on it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I couldn't tell you. I haven't really thought about it. When you it see highlights like, or anything like that from that game, does it kind of rekindle any emotions, any feelings from? No, I mean, game that we lost. Um, is what it is. We lost. They won. On to the next one. The kind of common refrain in this locker room this week has been, you know, this is the new year. Mm-hmm. I don't want to think about that game. Is there is that colored at all by the potential that you guys could play again at some point this season? Uh, I mean, I think guys are just, I think we've done a really, really good job of being focused on one game at a time. I think the guys are just trying to do that. Um, you know, I think there's more media people this week of practice than I've seen all year. Uh, <laughs> you guys tend to, you know, make things a little bit bigger than they are. It's a week 13 game. Um, yes, it's against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, they're the one seed. We're fighting for potential seeding. Yes, that's all big, and I 100% agree with you guys there. I don't think it really has anything to do with last year. I actually saw a clip from their head coach who talked about that. He just said that, hey, last year is last year. There's different teams, different coaches. But we've got one of their best players in Hargrave on our roster now, and hey, it's just it's a different game, and, and I'm not really holding on to anything that happened last year. It was a football game. We lost. They uh, get better and figure out a way to win. Speaking of different games, are you having anything with, with Moody on this Michigan-Iowa game Saturday night? Are you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> oh, I just, your lockers are so close. Um, Iowa guy, he's a Michigan. You're surrounded by Michigan people. I way. know. I can't get away from Tracy, not once in my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, of here. course. <laughs> no, I got uh, yeah, Moody. We got uh, Ronnie, Tracy. Yes. Um, for some reason, I think I need 10 to 1 odds. <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm kidding. I'm looking forward to the game. It's going to be really fun to watch that one. But, uh, yeah, you know, they don't ever stop talking about how good they are. It's really fun. Third and one, short yardage, and, 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 and all the analysts say, I mean, oh, low man wins. But when the Philadelphia Eagles, what, why are they so effective with this brotherly shot? When you put the tape in, what do you see? Well, they obviously are very great at it. Uh, the offensive line is good. They get very low. They have a strong quarterback who can drive his legs too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they got a they got a pretty good 
you know, scheme around it, and they've had some success with it for sure. What do you see as the key to dealing with not just that particular play, but Jalen Hurts in general? Um, I think that play is very not. Uh, There's a whole bunch that else that happens in a game, so. Mm-hmm. I know they have a lot of success with it, so it has became like a, a big deal. But, um, you know, our goal is to not let them get in that situation. And if they do, let's stop it. You know, we, uh, we stopped it um, once last year, and uh, they ran again and scored. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, Jalen Hurts, he's a great quarterback. He really, he really is elite at, you know, uh, their scheme, and um, he's been tremendous for them, you know, over these past few years. So it's going to be a lot of a lot of challenges throughout the games, but uh, just keep keep fighting, keep playing, playing against a great team, and I think we're excited for the challenge. You get tired of answering that question about the, the brotherly shove? No, it's, it's cool. You know, I know, uh, I know uh, how things work. You know, it's, it's a cool play. It's, you know, exciting for people to talk about. Um, yeah, it's, it's part, of, part of the game, and they've had a lot of success with it. Kyle was saying after the, the Dallas game that uh, the thing that he was most proud of in the league the week leading up to it was that the, the teams approached it as kind of just another game. Like, let's execute. Let's do our job. They didn't, none of the outside stuff got in about you know, being the Cowboys. And is that kind of the same deal this week? Uh, I think it always is about us and what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, not getting wrapped up in what you know, uh, uh, the other side is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it is about us and, you know, our approach and our mindset. You seem pretty steady that way. <laughs> like you approach that thing any, that, that way all the time anyway. Is that something you try and impart on your younger teammates? All about? Yeah, it is always about us. It's about, mm-hmm. you know, your approach. And I think um, with, you know, might not have been able to say this all the way in the past, but, with this team we have, if we focus on ourselves and we're at our best, I think we can be anyone for sure. Um, and so, at the end of the day, it's about us and how we approach the game, how we're, how are we being disciplined, how are we executing, and if we do that at a high level and play with great effort, you know, I think we can be anybody. Speaking of, uh, Eric, have you noticed any difference in how O lines block you guys since you guys added Chase Young? Uh, not since we added Chase Young. I think O-lines block us very differently than other D-lines over the past four years, really, ever since 2019. I think uh, teams, you know, try to take us out the game, chips and leaving extra guys in protection and all these different protections we have to try to beat. Um, But, you know, I'm excited about, you know, this week. I haven't seen much of that on film, and so... Obviously, they, uh, they trust in their offensive line, which they have some amazing players on the offensive line. So it's going to be uh, a great test and battle for us, you know, um, to go against them. Does the weather impact you at all, you know, what you're trying to do? If, if it's raining, like it's, like it's forecasted? I don't even know what the I don't know what the like at two thirty it's going to be raining. I don't know what it's going to be at game time, but we know it's going to be. Dang, that's that's one hundred percent guaranteed. No, no, two thirty at game time, two thirty their time. I don't know. So at game time, I'm not sure what. Who knows what's what's today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, a lot can happen in four days. Eric, what's your forecast in terms of availability? I'll be out there on Sunday. Speaking. It's been great. It's been great uh, having him. It's been great, you know, building that continuity with him and, you know, building a, a brotherhood on and off the field. It's been amazing. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great person and a great player. And, you know, he's really, uh, really helped us. And um, it's been great to, you know, continue this journey with getting to know one another and um, trying to go out here and, and fight and do everything we can to help our team win games. So it's been a lot of fun. Is that what you said? It seems like a change right after the bye. Was anything that was working better or a change that's not higher production after the bye? I mean, rest is great. <laughs> Came at a great time. Um, so I think rest was definitely helpful and just, uh, you know, just, just playing, playing a little better, a little better football. Um, which, you know, I put that responsibility on myself this part of the season to do that. Um, you know, the season doesn't really start until 
this time of year. So this is where you want to be at your best.